the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, the light of Christ has dawned, shattering the night of sin and despair. With humility and hope, let us begin our Eucharist celebrating the epiphany of the Lord by seeking his forgiveness. Holy light, the grace of God in our midst, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy light that shatters the darkness of sin, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Holy light that leads us to the dwelling place of God, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on Amen. earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we, who know you already by faith, may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds covers the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of the nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Epa, all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, 
You have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn King of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophets, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judea since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they sat out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them, until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise What's in a word? What's in a name? Quite a lot, actually. My friends, we are still in the Christmas season, which means we're celebrating that God became man. And we can never celebrate this enough. Christians, we have this tradition of celebrating the 12 days of Christmas, which span from December 25th to January 6th. And it is a time of rejoicing. Rejoicing over the presence of God in Jesus Christ. Rejoicing that we are no longer alone. And today we celebrate the epiphany. Epiphany, it means an appearance or a manifestation, especially of the divine. But it also means a sudden and striking discovery. And we can see both of these meanings in our gospel today. First of all, Jesus is revealed to these wise men, these magi. Tradition holds that they represent the non-Jewish world, which was also longing for a savior. Pope Benedict, in his book, Jesus of Nazareth, he says, and I quote, they were people of inner unrest, people of hope people seeking the star of salvation. My friends, they weren't content with a dull and apathetic life. They wanted to see God and they find God 
And to their great joy, they see the epiphany, the manifestation of God. They fulfill their quest. But remember the other meaning of the word epiphany, a sudden and striking discovery. These wise men see God, yet was this how they expected to see him? If you were God, wouldn't you want to appear on earth, perhaps in, in power and blazing light and overwhelming glory? Perhaps a combination of the greatest scientists, politicians, athletes, movie stars, all rolled into one. And yet here, the wise men, they find a baby. God, all-powerful, creator of heaven and earth, who chose to come in poor weakness. God's glory is a hidden glory. When the angels appeared to the shepherds to tell them about the birth of their Savior, they say glory to God in the highest. The wise men, they see that glory. They have their epiphany. And a true epiphany is that God's glory is a hidden glory. This is the sudden and striking discovery they make. My friends, God has many epiphanies for us too. He will show us his glory and it will often be hidden. So our challenge is to seek out God in the everydayness of life. To look for those epiphany aha moments. I wonder what your discovery will be. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Christ, our light, has dawned upon the world. In joyful hope, then, let us pray that all churches and faith communities may honor and respect one another as co-heirs and sharers of God's promises, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all nations and their leaders may walk by the light of God's justice and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the light of Christ may burn away the darkness and hopelessness of illness, poverty, and distress, for all suffering brothers and sisters, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our church and parish may be a haven of safety and a place of welcome for all who seek God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, may your holy light illuminate the roads we walk on our journey to you as we seek to realize the hope of these prayers prayers that we offer for all peoples in the name of your Christ. Amen.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed sacrificed and received, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy, worthy that you should, that you should enter under my, my roof, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. Shall be healed. Where they lay keeping. 
pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended.